in the communities. There are 600 families there that depend on water that this mine is sitting on top of, and we are protesting the fact that uh, we feel that this will be a detriment to our health and to our well-being and to our way of life for many years to come. Hi, Andrew. How are you? How can I help? Well, we're here to protest the mining practices that's going on in Fayette County, specifically around uh, Beards Fork, uh, Kincaid, uh, Riston, uh, the whole 61 area. Uh, we feel that that's going to be a health hazard, a uh, environmental hazard, and uh, we would like to uh, to put a stop to it somehow or at least slow it down so that folks will at least be able to have a decent place to live and um, have some say so while it goes on about their communities without just being things happening to them that they don't have any control over. Has there been a problem? A lot of problems. A lot of people's properties been damaged. Um, from, from Trinity's operation? From blasting. A lot of folks have complained about the, the blasting. I know one, one family in particular, their, their property was damaged and a lot of work was done to try to repair it. And this is just the beginning. That's just one incident. Okay. You're just I'm, I'm brand new, so I'm, I'm hearing this for the first time. Well, this is going to be an ongoing problem, so we want to try to put as much of a stop to it before it gets too bad. I'm sure if we came to your house and started blasting at your at your house and took down trees all around your property, so whenever the rains come, your property will be swept off its foundation, you would be upset, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you protest? Wouldn't you try to find out who's doing this and try to do something about it before it got worse? Well, I, I sure want to make sure that our company uh, complies with all the rules. And if we do what's right for the property and we're good what neighbors. What assurance do we have that you will do that? We don't have any assurance of that. Oh, our requirements are about $70 million of bonds that are at risk if we don't. I asked the people at Fraser Creek about putting bonds out on properties. They said no, they didn't have to. They didn't think it was necessary. Well, we have bonds on our own work. Every acre that we've disturbed is bonded. What about the houses? The properties, the houses that we live in, that hey. we've put our life's work into. Everybody that lives on that, pro on that stretch of road that you're building these mines on, blasting the mountains off, is on limited income. They don't have the resources that you have to is, fix is, is whatever it, you do. In fact, uh, like I said, this is just the beginning. Just the beginning. So with what future um, mining that you're going to be doing in that area, you're going to be doing a lot more blasting, a lot more damage is going to be done. So we're just trying to let you know what the folks in the area are feeling, what they're thinking, what they're saying, and what we're going to do. We're not going to lay down and let you run over top of us like you did with the helicopter taking the trees out and us just watch, just watching things happen around us. We're tired of people coming in and raping us, raping the land, just taking everything they can from the people and just taking it somewhere else and using the resources in another state somewhere. In this case, another country. Another country is telling them, us how we're going to live and we're kind of we're tired of it we're fed up with people coming in and taking what we have and giving us what's left over i'm sure you understand what that's about if we did that to you right oh I, i'm a west virginian i grew up in mcdowell county and you don't live in mcdowell county now though do you no no I don't. you live in a gated community probably now no where do you live I live in Richmond, Virginia, okay. the community. I've lived in Beckley mm -hmm. for 15 years after WV. I spent my whole life here. I know. Then you should be you should be looking out for West Virginia instead of raping it for what you can get out of it. A West Virginian I'm, should be standing up for the state instead of trying to take more from the people here. I'm very much interested in that. My father and grandfather and great grandfather were all 
Southern West Virginia coal miners. It's it's all my my family's done for since 1887. So were my grandfathers and my husbands, but they respected the land. There's a difference when you live on the land and you respect the land instead of taking from the land and not giving anything back. That's what you all do. You're not giving anything back. You're taking, 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 and not giving anything back to the people that live there. And we're tired of it. We've been done this way ever since West Virginia was a state, and we are so tired of it. People like their, that. Their job is to, to run those mines safely and it, as environmental stewards. And I believe we're doing that, and our records show that. I don't think the environmental stewards' records will show that. And I'm not aware of any blasting complaints that we've ever had. Well, you're not talking to the right people then, are you? Maybe you ought to come out and visit some of the folks and see them face to face and ask them questions. I, I, I wouldn't mind that a bit. Well, we're inviting you to come out, are we not? Exactly. Come out and talk to Be the glad. people and let them tell what, what you what they think. What community are you from? 61, Kincaid, Beards Fork, Robson. It's a stretch of uh, uh, between, 61 in between Deepwater and, and Oak, Hill. Oak Hill. Yes. Have you driven that stretch? Yeah, actually I have. I, like I said, I lived in Beckley for 15 years, so I uh, actually tried to acquire those properties back, seems like the late 70s. Uh, so I've, I've been familiar with 61 and across the river in 60 ever since 1973 when I came to Beckley. Um, and I've been responsible for mines in that area since 1975. What companies? Uh, Massey mostly, all their subsidiaries, and I ran all their subsidiaries in Central West Virginia for many years. And uh, quite frankly, I've never had a meeting quite like this before in my whole career. I, well, this is the first time for everything, I, isn't it? I absolutely this is the first understand. time for me. But I'll be more than glad to come and visit. I, do. I want to do that. Please I want to be a do. good neighbor, and I want you to believe we want to be good neighbors. So, we have a, a source water protection area for the Page Kincaid Public Service District, which pipes water through to about 1,600 people in Fayette County living in that same stretch that we're talking about. Um, and that's right below uh, where there's blasting going on. Is there any money that's been bonded to protect the water that people are, are going to be drinking and bathing in? You're, you're ahead of me. I don't know. I should look into the issue. Uh, but we have really strict blasting requirements in terms of vibration, if that's what you're concerned about. And I'll look at the records and see what our vibrations look at. We, but I'd be so more than willing when do you to, come, to come and visit this area? Uh, anytime after Easter. If you'll give well, you me... probably set something up, right? I'd be glad to come and check with you. Okay. We want to do this right. We want to be good neighbors. Well, we intend to make sure that... You're not going to run over top of us. Like I said, we are sick and tired of people just take, 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 and not putting anything back. My name's Doug Blackburn, and I give references. Well, who's, who is SR? Like we were familiar with Fraser Creek, but Fraser Creek is the mining company of Trinity. Mm -hmm. It's it handles all the permits, and SR is the parent of Trinity. It bought Trinity about two years ago. It's a steel and power company in India mm -hmm. with operations, it's multinational, got operations in several different countries. Mm -hmm. So most of the profits will be going out of the country from that operation. Right now I can't find a way to make a profit. I'm sure you'll figure that out. That's, that's, <laughs> that's my job to figure that out. Absolutely. It, it's been my whole career. Uh, I want to make it safe for the miners, and I want to be a good citizen in the community, and we'll do that. Well, I think the most important thing that you could do is, is somehow try and protect the, the water source that's I'll take it that, that my, you're mining right above, and some sort of bond saying that if there's any sort of damages done to that water source, um, that you guys would help repair it. That would be a, a pretty amazing agreement to make. Um, and I don't feel well, like that's. I don't feel like that's terribly that's much. It, much. They've, they've already said no to the PSD. Uh, they've said no in a few other meetings. Mm -hmm. That that is just not something that you guys well, do. Let me find all. out what the facts are because I don't know. 
and it'd be unfair for me to make any commitment to you about things I don't know anything about. Well, that's the thing is, is you can't, can't ever know into. what's going to happen in no. the future. Hey, well, and why are you looking to this already? Like, I mean, there's been mining happening right above the Page King KPSD now by Fraser Creek for three years. Mm -hmm. And this has been brought up as an issue. for well, the And I don't mean that's something you personally, I've been but here eight the weeks. Fraser Creek company. And like, so that, are there other I don't, I don't know that they have a, let me look yeah. into the facts. And when I come and visit with you, I'll have the facts. So is there somebody who's been here? the fellow before you? He retired. Okay, so there's... We grew up together, and we were competitors together on the other side. We were in Boone County on Route 3 for most of our career. I managed a company called Elk Run, started a, a mining company called Elk Run, and he was at Hobet. Now, you were talking about bonding for people's properties. Like I said, when we went to a meeting, and, and I asked for the person there about putting up a bond to protect the properties when the blasting started destroying everything. And he refused. He said, no, didn't need one. I asked about a bond for the road because the road was damaged and the road is still in pretty bad shape and parts of it refused there. So is that still a no? I don't have the facts. Well, there's about 600 families on that. Well, we, under the PSD, yeah, we won't have so. any, any facts until after the damage is all done. Yeah, it's too late then. It's more like making a, a promise to fix things that might happen. And if, they, if these things do not happen, you know, if the, if the PSD water source is not polluted, then everything's all well and good. You know? Well, as you well know, uh, I think the primary example of this is in Mingo County. Uh, where this very thing that you're worried about happened. And the state law is very clear on that point. We're responsible for any damage we do. Why would you do this in the first place if there is a likelihood of damage occurring? I, I don't think, well, I don't have the facts. Of it. I don't think there's a likelihood of that happening, but I don't have the facts and you need to let me look into it. Is there anybody here who's, who's got, I guess, some similar authority who's been working here for longer? No, it seems like there's got to be somebody. You're who's, talking to the right guy. It seems like there's got to be somebody who's been, who knows more about what's going on. If you, oh, you know, I'm sure there's been here for longer than eight weeks. I'm, I'm sure there are people that know more, but no one has my authority, so you can't have both. You, you need to deal with the authority or you can uh, deal with somebody that, uh, that has more facts. But if you'll give me a chance, I'll get the facts and then I'll come and see you.